Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new. Today is Saturday and the floors are officially finished. I was gonna start this vlog this morning, but they were literally here at nine o'clock on the dot and I was just trying to clean up a bit and I was also packing orders all morning. Still have so many more orders to pack between today and tomorrow to go out on Monday. This was my biggest drop yet and my most profitable drop. Um, you guys just went crazy for all the fall stuff, which is so exciting because I really stocked up on fall stuff. But I wanna show you guys the new flooring. Here's the luxury vinyl hardwood flooring that we went with. It's a really pretty neutral color with hints of gray. I didn't want it to be completely gray, but I also didn't want it to be like typical brown orange hardwood floors. So I think this is really pretty updated design. We did not have the quarter round installed yet. Chad and I actually have to go buy that and him and his dad are gonna put that on. So right now, if you look up against the wall, it's not like, clean up against the wall. I also wanna replace the bifold doors in here just because they're like so old and dirty and hardly even white anymore. But this is it guys, the updated office. My goal is to make this space look like a literal boutique. Like not to the point where it looks like people are gonna come in and shop, but I want it to feel and look like a boutique because I'm running my boutique basically out of here. Chad and I figured while we have the whole room empty, we're just gonna go ahead and clean the baseboards because they're like filthy. So yeah, here we go. Okay, it's a lot later now, do not mind what I look like. I'm probably covered in sweat from moving furniture from out in the garage to back in here and then in Chad's office and then we cleaned. And yeah, anyways, um, it looks amazing in here and I'm not even done yet. So here's the desk set up exactly as before. So I've just got my vanity on that side and then my computer on this side and I actually bought another one of these L-shaped desks to go on this side and then over here, we have a freaking mannequin because I told you guys I wanted my office to be like a boutique office. So I got a literal mannequin so that I can dress up some of the things. So the skirt's coming soon and the girl gang shirt is actually on my site now. And here's some new arrivals coming soon. And I'm gonna hold off on showing you guys the closet because we have to get more of these bins. Okay, so it's a little bit later. We went and bought some bins at Home Depot and I just organized all of the upcoming inventory in all of these bins down here. So I've got eight of those and then this is like my printer section tagging section and then back here I've got all of my like files and stuff up here I've got little free gifts so we have scrunchies and stuff and then I forgot to show you guys that I had these organic lip balms made with my logo and social media on them they're really simple ingredients and very moisturizing I also have these little pearl clips which I'm obsessed with and then of course keychains and pop sockets this is like my tagging stuff and then over here I just have all of my accessories so we have face masks backpacks and purses are kind of back there and then sunglasses and blue light blocking glasses as well as some upcoming jewelry back here and then all the jewelry that's on the store right now down here is my tissue paper and poly mailers 
and that is kind of the whole setup i've got like three bins up here and this is just the stuff that's like the most recent on my website but everything else is in the bins down here and i am just obsessed with this i feel like this is like my dream come true i have an official closet for all of my inventory okay the lighting is really terrible in here right now because it's all coming from that one light back there because we haven't actually got our fan in that we were supposed to get in well we did get it in but they sent us the wrong one so we had to send the incorrect one back and now we have to wait for the new one to come in but eventually i'll have some really good overhead lighting and then i'll probably still keep one of the floor lamps in here but we'll just see if i need it but i want to show you guys my little outfit of the night we're going out for dinner tonight and i'm really looking forward to it because i'm honestly just so exhausted from spending the last two days just doing all this stuff for the office and work so so yeah, this shirt is so super cute and very lightweight, just perfect for fall, especially if you're in a climate where it's not super cold out yet because it's like very light, breathable material, but the color is just so perfect for fall. I'm just wearing it with some black skinny jeans and these little cheetah print sandals and these really cute pearl hoop earrings that are coming to the store next Friday. And I just decided to put my hair up because it's honestly very dirty and dry shampoo is not helping it at this point. <laughs> guys what's up it's the next day obviously and i am at the nail salon i'm about to go get my nails done and i'm so excited because it's finally october which means i can get some spooky fall october nails and i just can't wait because I look forward to this moment every year. I do kind of look like a bum right now because I finally took it upon myself to let myself have a lazy morning. I never give myself that anymore because ever since starting Sun Bunny, there's always so much for me to do and the second that I wake up, I'm just like immediately ready to start getting stuff done. But it's the weekend and I literally worked so hard all day on Friday packing orders and then Saturday getting our floors done and cleaning and moving all of our furniture back in. So I just thought I really wanted to sleep in today and I did and it was wonderful. We went out for dinner last night and had drinks and it was the most normal dinner since before COVID, I feel like. Obviously we still had to wear masks like entering the restaurant and exiting, but I don't know, it just kind of felt normal like before COVID for some reason. But anyways, I'm gonna run in here, get my nails done and I will show you guys when I get out. So I got my nails done really quick and then I decided I was gonna run into Target really quick because I needed to get some command strips and I picked up a coffee while I was in there and then me being stupid, I walked out of the wrong Target entrance than the one I came into, like the one on the completely opposite side, and then it's pouring down rain, and I'm like looking for my car, and then I realize that I'm literally parked on the wrong side, so I, luckily it was like just starting to rain, so I just have like some raindrops on me, but my coffee was like everywhere because there wasn't a stopper in it such a mess. Disregard the very uneven bifold doors. I told you guys that I am working on replacing those. That's like the next thing that I want to do in here. But I got a Sun Bunny neon sign and I put it up above my closet and I'm obsessed with it. You guys know that I basically turned the closet entirely into an inventory space. So it just makes sense that I would have the Sun Bunny sign right over this. And then I also temporarily just brought this desk in from outside. Um, this is just an old one that I had until the other one comes in so that I've got a space to pack orders. But I got a super exciting package in the mail, so we're going to unbox this together. I ordered the Apple Watch Series 6 in the rose gold color, and I didn't really need to upgrade my Apple Watch, but the reason that I did is because my old Apple Watch was, I think, the Series 4 or 5, and it was only the GPS, not the cellular, so you had to have your phone within contact in order for the Apple Watch to work. And you guys know that I go on runs multiple times throughout the week and I always have to carry my phone on me while I'm running. So that was like the main reason I wanted to upgrade was to get the cellular so that I can run and listen to music and access my apps and phone and everything all from my Apple Watch. It's just something that makes so much sense for me to have. So I'm not gonna wait any longer. Let's unbox it.
Okay, so I have it sinking now. I'm not really sure how long this is gonna take, but it seems like it's gonna take forever. So I might just catch up with you guys tomorrow once I have it set up. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. I feel like I've dragged this vlog out for three days now. Or something like that um, but I did finish setting up my Apple watch last night actually but it was kind of late so I didn't record anything and I did record my sleep and as you can see I have a different watch band on I can't remember if I told you guys that I originally wanted to get the solo loop band but I didn't want to wait for it because it was I don't want to say it was on back order but it was just gonna take longer to ship like the estimated time to ship and this one was like immediate so I just picked the normal band and then I got this one on Amazon and I really like it it has like a little velcro strap and it matches the rose gold color it's so pretty and then I also got the same one in black just in case I want to switch it out for the black one but I really like it Guys, I have been packing orders for the last few hours and I decided to basically just pre-pack them and get them all ready to go into the mailer, but then just grab thank you cards so that I could fill them all out individually and not have to feel like I'm rushing because I have another order to pack. So yeah, I just went ahead and pre-packed them and now I can sit down and write all of the thank you cards, tuck them in and then throw it in a poly mailer and then I will finally be caught up. Like I have literally been working non-stop all day trying to catch up on all of the orders but I finally did all of them and feel so good but I haven't even touched like the other side of my job which is just responding to emails trying to get caught up with like social media DM checking on my shipment status and then I also have to plan out this next drop for Friday so I just feel super behind and Chad and I didn't grocery shop today so I guess I'm grocery shopping tomorrow probably just gonna write the list and make Chad go because I have so much to do, but I'm super excited because I'm filling up the bathtub now and I'm taking my switch in the bath with me. If you don't do that, highly recommend it. There's no better time to play Animal Crossing than when you are soaking in a hot bath. But I am gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.